Welcome to my channel. Today is another day of my spring blitz and I deeply apologize that the, that the video, well, it's still on, this video is uploaded today, but it's later than I usually post. I hate to make promises and then not go through with them, but I mean, technically I didn't break the promise because it's still uploaded today. It just is later than I normally would do. Um, and that'll probably be the same for tomorrow just because it's a busy week, but they will still, there's still going to be a video every day. So that's the, the big accomplishment there. Uh, today I'm working in my traveler's notebook and this is my health traveler's notebook that my uh, mom sewed together for me just using some paper, just simple, simply paper. And basically I'm documenting the health journey that my husband and I are going on. We are just trying to uh, make our lives better and happier by making healthier choices. And it's been a lot of fun. So I'm just documenting that. You can see I'm opening this paint and struggling and then using the scissors and putting the scissors on that picture. So that's how the paint got there. <laughs> I was wondering all the way up till now, how did that paint get there? And now as I'm rewatching this video, I see how <laughs> the paint does come off. But I was like, what in the world? Um, so as you can see, I'm just doing some different paint strokes. I'm using some of the paints from Target and they're really cute and really pretty. For this book, I'm using the Pink Paisley Page Evans Pick Me Up collection um, and some other Page Evans products. So I'm going to back this paper with a couple of the cut aparts and a doily. And uh, while I let the other stuff dry. So this has been quite the stressful week because we have, well, I hope I can say had ants in our house. Fun times, fun times. So we've been dealing with that for a couple weeks now. It's really frustrating, but I think maybe we've gotten rid of them now. Who knows? But uh, yeah, that's been so stressful. Has anyone have to, had to deal with that before? At first, they were just in the hallway, not near a doorway or window or anything like that, which was quite weird. But then I found them a couple weeks later in the kitchen. I'm like, that's it. We got to go hardcore on these ants because I was getting mad. <laughs> no ants are allowed in my kitchen. So anyway, we are dealing with that. And that was really frustrating. I love to cook and bake and... So to be disruptive by these ants was a pain in the butt. Anyway, that's just my little side story. So these have kind of dried. I'm not very pa patient, but I'm going to layer up some things. And uh, this picture is of my husband. He was going to his broga class for the first time. It's like yoga for guys. Um, it was a beginners, an eight week like beginners class that he was going to. So uh, that actually just finished last week and he really liked it. He does a lot of other exercise and physical activity, but um, this eight week beginners course came up that I, I had just finished mine and I was like, this is awesome. You got to do this. And, um, and uh, the trainers at his, uh, at his gym were saying that yoga is good for you because it helps you with like the mind body connection kind of thing. And of course, if I say it, it's like whatever. But if someone like that says it, then he, he's like, okay, yeah, maybe I should try it. So he did and he really enjoyed it, which was awesome because I love it. And, um, and now we both know, have some, uh, some yoga skills. So that's pretty fun. All right, so all I'm doing is layering up different things. I did my journaling, as you saw. I just kind of skipped over that because that's kind of boring. Um, I use this like Sharpie paint marker thing and I'm just layering up some goodies. I have gotten a lot of comments in the past couple weeks. I will be replying to them. I just haven't, I want to carve out some time to make some like genuine comments. Not that it wouldn't be, but um, if I'm just kind of doing it here and there while I'm distracted, then I feel like they're not as meaningful and I just want to carve out the time to do that and, and, uh, communicate with you guys and have conversations about different things because I love that. So I am going to respond to all the comments. I just, you know, ants. Yeah. If you've had that problem, you know, the stress, especially when they get in your kitchen. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with, with, uh, venting about the ants. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the other side, and 
Um, this is a picture of Andy and I at the yoga studio. So what they do is um, they have a yogurt, yoga, yogurt, yoga teacher training program. And I think it's like a year long or something. And once those people are done it, they um, like done the program, they do their hours through classes here. And basically um, people from the community can come and pay a fee to the charity that a local charity, whatever the charity they picked, and um, and they can come attend the class uh, run by one of the new yoga teachers. So we did that together on the Easter long weekend, and it was so fun. I wish we could do more together, but he has a, his gym, and he does the spinning and the circuit training or whatever and all that stuff. Um, and I do yoga, so we do different things, but, um, I'm sure if that ever comes up again, then we'll definitely do it together because it was fun and we can build more skills and he can do like some real yoga classes and not just the beginner classes, which I think would be great to learn more about yoga. I forgot that I was still filming at this part, so you can see me writing it and then finishing. I'm going to do some doodling around some, um, hearts. If you don't know, this is part of my spring blitz. So I am posting um, videos for 30 days uh, leading up to my two-year um, YouTube anniversary. So make sure you enter the giveaway. We have a giveaway going. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and um, comment on one of my videos. That's all. So enter the giveaway and... Um, Oh, also at the end of the series, I'm going to do a crafty tag and answering any questions you guys might have. So if you have anything, you can put it down below, but I am going to do that crafty tag, which will be fun. And of course, lots more doodling because I'm trying to bring in more of that black from the pictures and from the journaling. I should put a date or something in that tab on the left hand page. I'll probably do that. And of course, some more black mist splatters to tie it all together. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's really cute and I love working in this journal. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. It's such a fun format and I feel really free. Like I have no rules, I guess. Not that I would anyway, but I can just kind of put things anywhere and everywhere and doodling and journaling and layering and stickers, just put stickers everywhere. I love it. Um, I have the chipboard and the card stock stickers from this collection, which is great, and the ephemera, so I feel like I'm all stocked up. So there we go. This is the finished product. And like I said, I'm happy with how it turned out. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos. I also do happy mail videos, Bible journaling, scrapbook, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you want to see more of that, you can subscribe and make sure you get the notification. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.